What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a Carver Vanguard Premium Mark Watch. Meaning in this video, we will only go over cards in premium format to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, which cards are plus. But before we begin, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every Thursday, standard Mark Watch, and then Friday, which is today, is our premium Mark Watch. Now, today's Mark Watch is going to be a bit spicy. A few buyouts, for example, Frog Raider, the Grade 2 Generation Break for Spike Brothers, and a few other cards that are collected cards. And guys, keep in mind that Black Friday and Cyber Monday is around the corner. If you guys need to make any purchases from any website for a Carver Van for a Carver Vanguard product or anything else, I highly recommend to save your money for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Uh, especially if you're going to buy from tcp.com. TCP There's going to be bonus books back guaranteed. I just don't, I just don't know how much. Uh, anyways, guys, let's get on the mark watch to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, which cards are plus. First card that I want to talk about is Wailing Thavis. This stride for Thavis, in my opinion, is still in demand. I'm still selling them for 14 to 15 bucks each. Now, the SGRs, only seven listings, a bunch of them for 14 bucks and change. Market price is $9.03. As for the GRs, there's only seven listings left, uh, one for 12 bucks. After that, $13 each. Market price is $8.73. Uh, both rarities, in my opinion, they are selling very well. I, I can't keep them on the market. I buy them for like eight bucks and then flip them for a good 15 bucks each, and people are still buying them. Uh, other, the last card for Thavis that I want to talk about is Supreme Ruler of Storm Thavis. In my opinion, this card, this should, it should retain its value. It's actually a pretty good rear guard. Um, Generation Break 2, Wave 1, Wave 1, or the fourth wave only. Uh, kind of plus one at the end of the battle that this, that this unit attacked you may pay the cost if you do send this unit so this grade three does have a potential on retaining its value in my opinion i think it's a great grade three uh, market price is 446 and currently there's only 13 listings on the market a bunch of them for seven bucks and change after that eight dollars each so again guys thavises are definitely in demand for the for the supreme ruler of storm and the whaling thavis time for a little bit of collector's market watch Guys, I've been saying this multiple times. If you have if you have near mint SPs from BTO1, get it graded. Uh Draconic Overlord SPs, 90 to 100 dollars each. Blaster Blades, 80 to 90 bucks each. Ashore Kaiser, 40 bucks. After that, 50 bucks. King Nice Alfred, one for 90 dollars. After that, 100 dollars each. Uh, guys, I've been saying this multiple times. These SPs from BTO1. Please keep them near mint and please get them graded. This one is probably one of the. Apparently, a thousand dollars for an SP battle riser. Not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, you can probably get away with selling it for a hundred bucks, but a thousand dollars. No. This is a little. This is pushing a little bit way too far. Realistically, if you guys have a Battle Riser SP, you can probably get rid of them for at least fifty to eighty dollars each SP. Um, this, in my opinion, wouldn't be a bad investment. SP Logan Magus, the, the first SP Hill Trigger that we that we've ever received in Carver Vanguard. You can you should probably buy them for thirteen bucks each if they're near mint, and you, then you could probably flip them for a good forty to fifty bucks later. Like I said. Later, it wouldn't be a bad investment to buy them now for 13 bucks each, and then sell them later for 50 bucks each graded, or maybe, it maybe even more, more than 50 bucks. And the last card that I want to talk about from the set, the original triple R version of Blaster Blade. Now this card is still up in the market. Market price is a dollar and 49 cents, but there's only five listings on the market. One lightly played for 13 bucks. After that, 15 dollars each near mint. Uh, again, guys, Blaster Blades, they're still in demand, especially the latest reprinted version, which, which we received in the Legend Trial deck, this Blaster Blade. Even this one is actually going up in the market. Market price is a, is a dollar and 30 cents, but there's only five listings on the market, a bunch of them for five bucks each. So again, guys, almost all versions of Blaster Blades, all of them are up in the market. Speaking of Blaster Blades, let's talk about Blaster Blade Liberator. Now, this SP has been around the $20, $20 range for a good minute. 
As for the triple R's, they've been slowly leaving the market. Market price is five, $5.60, but there's only four listings on the market. Uh, two for six bucks and change, after that $7 each. As for the SPs, $20 each. In my opinion, this also wouldn't be a bad investment. If you guys have the capital, you can probably buy them for 20 bucks each, SP near mint, and then flip them later on in the future for a good 50 to 60 bucks each. The original Soul Saver Dragon. Now the SP version, only one listing on the market, lately played for $42. Market price is 50 bucks each. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure this card will get bought off the market eventually, and then eventually this card has the potential on becoming a $50 card. As for the triple R's, only two, only two listings. Uh, one for eight bucks, after that, $20. Market price is $4.49. If you guys have the original Soul Slave Dragons, the triple R's, or the SP version, they're definitely in demand and they're definitely about to be bought off the market. The first original Perfect Guard for Mega Colonies, Paralyzed Madonna. Eleven dollars each. Market price is two dollars and six cents, and there's only four listings on the market. Uh, two for eleven bucks and change. After that, twelve dollars each, and then after that, apparently twenty-one dollars and change. Again, guys, there definitely is a collector's market for Carver Vanguard. Certain perfect cards are up in the market. Not all the perfect cards are up in the market, but for example, this one for Metal Colonies is going for 10 to 11 bucks each. And before you say Rico, who's gonna buy for 10 bucks? I just sold my last two copies for 850 each. So these cards are, I mean, they're not in crazy demand, but they are selling. Now it's confirmed that BCDs are making a comeback in standard format. So I figured let's look at the first perfect guard for BCDs. BCD Solar Falcon. It looks like it's going for cheap. Market price is $378, but there's only three listings on the market. Only three. Um, one for six bucks, after that, eight dollars, and then and then after that, eleven to twelve dollars each. Again, this card, in my opinion, it shouldn't be worth more than five bucks. But just for the fact that it has the name B Stadium in its name, that's why this card is selling. That's why this card is about to leave the market. But another B C D card that's also about to leave the market. The deadliest BCD Ethics Buster Reverse. Now the SP only one listing for five bucks. Market price is five ninety five. Again, this wouldn't be a really, really bad investment for five bucks. You buy for five bucks and then flip it later on in the future for a good twenty to twenty five bucks or maybe even thirty dollars. As for the triple R's, the triple R's only two listings. One for two bucks and change. After that, five dollars each. Market price is two thousand nineteen cents. So again, guys, uh, this wouldn't, this honestly wouldn't be a bad investment to buy for five bucks and then flip it for a good like thirty to forty bucks. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do not remember this card, Wink Killer Misery, the infamous Grade Two Generation Break for Spike Brothers. It looks like it's only going for six bucks and change. Market price is a dollar, is a dollar ninety five, but there's only six listings on the market. One for six bucks and change. After that, ten dollars. After that, eleven to twelve bucks each. Again, guys, we just received more Spike Brothers support, so I'm not surprised that this grade two is going up in the market. And before you say, Rico, who's gonna buy for 10 bucks each? They are selling. I just sold my last two copies for, for six for six bucks and 25 cents, I believe. So people are buying them. So if you guys have them, this is probably one of the best times to put this grade two on the market for a good eight to 10 bucks each. This card is still going up in the market. Frog Raider, the infamous grade one rare that restands for Spike Brothers. Uh, market price is four dollars and sixteen cents, and there's only four listings on the market. Only four. Uh, one for eleven bucks each. After that, thirteen bucks. After that, fifteen dollars each. Uh, Frog Raiders, if you guys have them, please put them on the market now for ten bucks. Another G Legend deck, but this time Ren. Now this trial deck came with a bunch of good cards for for Shadow Paladins, and Dark Knight Maiden Maka is one of them. The triple R's are still holding between the ten to twelve dollar range. Market price is six seventy eight, and there's only three listings on the market. And even the common version, only three listings. Uh, two of them for eight ninety five. After that, ten dollars each. Market price is two two twenty three. But another card that's also been going up in the market from the set, Dark Heart. Trumpeter. Now the triple R's only four listings, ten dollars each. Market price is ninety two cents, but the commons are still around like seventy cents or eighty cents each. Uh, but these are definitely selling. People are definitely buying them. I just sold. Uh, I sold ten. No, I sold eleven 
copies, I believe. 11 or 11 or 12. I sold a bunch of them for five bucks each. So this card is definitely selling. If you guys have this card, put them on the market. Last card that I want to talk about, Star Vader Vote Line. This grade one rare for Link Jokers, in my opinion, has a slight potential on going up and going up in the market. Just for the fact that Star Vader Chaos Breaker Dragon is making a comeback and potentially the lock mechanic will also make a comeback. If you guys don't know what this card does, uh, rear guard effect, when an attack hits a vanguard during the, during the battle that this, that this unit boosted, choose one of your opponent's locked cards. That unit cannot be unlocked during his or her next end phase. So basically it keeps that card locked until, until the next next turn. At the moment, they're going for five bucks each. Market price is 584 and there is nine listings on the market. Again, it's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I strongly, strongly feel that this card has a slight potential on going up the market. All right, guys, that's today's Mark Watch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did indeed enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every Thursday, standard Mark Watch, and Friday, which is today, is our premium Mark Watch. Now, today's Mark Watch was full of a few buyouts. The biggest buyout of all, of course, is Frog Raider, $10. Uh, Paralyzed Madonna and a bunch of cards from the collector's market from the original BTO one uh, and, and of course Blaster Blade if you guys have this Triple R version of Blaster Blade from the G Legend deck. They're definitely selling for three to four to five bucks each Now again guys, I said it once and I'm gonna keep saying it Save your money for Black Friday or Cyber Monday There's definitely gonna be a bunch of deals for a bunch of card games it doesn't have to be Carver Vanguard, it could be Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, anything. Just save your money for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. There's going to be deals out there. You just have to look, just have to look for them. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are being safe. And I hope to see you guys always next time. Deuces.